So Tilt are a company that have been doing really good things when it comes to cages and accessories for filmmakers. And they really produce high quality products. And this is the Tilt Nucleus Nano 2 wheel, which I've also done a review on already on this channel. But I just received this side handle here. So this is the Nano 2 side handle uh, that you can pretty much attach to this wheel and be able to have four follow focus motors attached to your camera. So one for aperture, zoom, uh, focus, and then like a VND system like their Tilt and Matbox system, which is incredible, but obviously this one can do two by itself and this one can do two by itself as well. But we're going to be going through what exactly this is going to offer you, how it all works, and then we'll also talk about the Red Komodo X tilter cage that I received as well. A uh, few caveats with that because uh, when it comes to power output, that's one thing you don't really want to be playing with when it comes to not red certified products. So we got a lot to get through, so let's get it. What's going on my 105,000 amazing friends? I hope you're all doing it absolutely fantastic. If you are new on my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, so first of all, let's get into some of the specs of this control handle. Then we can talk about some of the features it actually offers. And uh, we'll also talk about who this thing is actually for. So the Tilter Nucleus Nano 2 control handle features a quarter 20 mount on the top, control pins on the right and control pins on the left, a USB-C port, a control wheel on the front, a button on the front, the control joystick on the back, a mode button, a record button, a small LCD screen, and it is powered by a Sony NPF 550 battery. This has compatibility with the Tilter Nucleus M motor, the DJI RS motor, and the original Tilter Nucleus Nano motor. You can get this handle right now for 134 US. So when it comes to who this thing is for, it's not exactly for solo shooters. This is kind of designed uh, for people who need crews, who need a first AC, who need someone who's going to be, you know, controlling some of the functions on your camera. So a first AC will generally, you know, potentially pair this together so you can actually have four focus wheels or um, they'll be able to control the gimbal through this as well. So you can actually control the DJI gimbals through this, which is absolutely phenomenal. And then the Nano 2 will actually control the focus and zoom, however you're going to be programming it. But generally first ACs are going to be the ones that will be utilizing this the most. So when it comes to solo shooting, not necessarily designed for solo shooting, but you still can do that because what you can actually do if you do have a single focus motor or a dual focus motor, you can utilize it with controlling with the joystick or this little dial at the front as well. So when it comes to the battery, it's pretty basic. It uses the Sony MPF 550 batteries. So these ones are very cheap and very easy to come across. You can pretty much pick them up for literally nothing on Amazon. You only need maybe two or three of these because because these will last up to about eight hours inside here, obviously depending on how you utilize it or if you're gonna be powering the focus motor directly out of here because the USB-C on the side allows you to tap out of there and power the focus motor. So if you are a solo shooter or if you're going to be utilizing this on a shoulder cam, you can power the focus motor through this, which is really cool. Now you do actually have pins on the right hand side and the left hand side, so you can actually tap this into uh, other accessories, which to be honest, I haven't attached these into any other accessories but the Tilter Nano Focus wheel. So uh, it isn't really something that I'm personally going to be using. So if you do want to see the functions of these two, I do suggest you uh, watch the Tilter video on the full explanation of this thing. Now, when it comes to the functionality of this thing, it's pretty easy to go through. It does have a little bit of a learning curve because once you turn it on, you triple press that on button and it gets you into the settings and you toggle through the settings through this joystick and then your yes is the mode button and your no or back is the record button. So you pretty much go through the settings. This is how you pair it in the screen. The screen is very reminiscent of the very first uh, Nano. It's very small. It's kind of hard to read, but uh, once you get the settings right, you don't really have to read through it anyway. But when it comes to outdoor use, it isn't necessarily bright, but when it comes to, uh, I suppose, the durability of this screen it is very durable because it actually is recessed into it and you've got this perspex on the front um, that is a very, very, very hard perspex, which is great. And the screen's kind of, it's kind of weird. The screen kind of looks like it's inside the hair. It's not right on the front like it is with the Nano 2. 
Now, just like the Nano 2, you can actually utilize the original Nucleus Nano focus motor. So this one, you can utilize the new focus motor, obviously, because it's the new one, but you can tap into the older focus motor as well. So if you do have a zoomable Cine Prime, like uh, the ones that I'm using, you can actually utilize one of them for uh, the zoom and then one of them for the focus, which is really cool because it has this zoom rocker on the front, uh, which you can control the zoom and then you can control it with this. But similar thing with this, you can actually utilize the, the joystick for the zoom and then this one for the uh, focus or vice versa. This one for the zoom and then the joystick for the focus. But when it comes to utilizing the joystick for the focus, it isn't as, I suppose, easy to get things in focus as it is with the tilter handle because I did actually do a few tests, you know, very small, barely any movements of my wife, you know, packing Christmas presents as simple as that. And it was just quite difficult to get that focus point. But pretty much when I was utilizing the Nano 2, I was literally just focusing it with my thumb, holding the cinema camera on my knee and I could focus absolutely easy this thing is just it's one of my best and most favorite filmmaking tools of the year so when you do pair these together you can actually get four focus motors uh, which is pretty incredible and a little bit overkill but hear me out if you do have an aperture ring if you do have a focus a zoom and a v and d you can control all four of those so the tilter mirage map box system has a v and d that you can actually tap into and you can utilize one of these for for that but is it something that you're going to be using quite a lot not necessarily like i said this is probably someone who's going to be utilizing it for a first ac so for a first ac gig it's pretty handy works really well but for a solo shooter, you would only really go the Nucleus Nano 2 just by itself. So now let's discuss the Red Komodo X cage. Okay, so we've got a little bit to get through, but we'll start off with the main cage right here. So we'll take off this little base plate, which will pretty much allow you to have these uh, rails so you can actually have the focus motor on there slides out pretty easy. So we'll focus on this little L bracket comes with it on the side. You've got a couple of uh, quarter 20s, 3 8 mounts uh, that you can mount a whole bunch of stuff. And this right here is NATO rail. So I always attach my Tilter Nucleus Nano 2 on the side there. Very basic. And then you've got this little RE set there. Uh, identical on the opposite side as well. And then you come to the bottom and you've got the standard bottom plate. And then you've got this thing here, which like you saw before, slides directly onto your rail mount. So that is very handy and it's a couple of screws there. So it's not going to slide around. Very, very, very handy. Now when it comes to PL support, it does come with a mount that you can pretty much mount directly into this and attach into your PL mount. So it really depends on which one you have. I've got the Hot Rod Cameras PL mount, uh, but it doesn't fit directly into here. Now we'll go on to the top plate. Now this top plate pretty much goes from here, around the back, and then back to the other side as well. A couple of M4 mounts, couple of quarter 20 mounts on the front there. And then you've got this sort of lone wolf front plate right here that pretty much supports this handle. So we'll talk about the handle. Handle's really, really cool. Uh, very good design. Pretty much like a bridge goes from the front and attaches to the back. And this button here presses and allows you to see the screen, which is really cool. So if you do want to film above, you're able to access the screen because this flips out of the way. Obviously you can see here, now you can't see the screen, and now you can, but a whole bunch of different mounts on this actual handle. So it's a very, very solid handle. Your, your cold shoe here with a bit of a safety quick release there. I absolutely love this top handle. Now we'll go over to the V-mount battery plate, which I personally don't use, and uh, this is one thing that you need to try and find red approved products, and this is not red approved, so that's the only reason why I'm not using it, because there could be issues. It doesn't necessarily mean that there is issues, but there could be issues if you do attach it to the power, the power somehow short circuits, you just don't want to go through that hassle. But just a quick look over here, you've got the D-tap on the side, USB-C, you've got two pin Limo, and then this right here can clip directly into it, giving you a whole bunch more IO ports, which is very, very handy. I just, I really wish this was red approved, 
Like I said, this is not to say that this is bad. This could actually work perfectly fine for years and years and years, but it's not red approved, so I don't want to risk it and utilize it. Even though if you do use it, it gives you the ability to use larger V-mount batteries because the Red Komodo X only allows you to use micro V-mount batteries because the IO ports will get in the way. So this clips on there, allows you to have larger V-mount batteries. But like I said, this is not red approved, so I cannot talk of the quality when it comes to this. In terms of the build quality, incredible, full metal design, but I'm just not gonna be using it. That's just in my personal uh, p opinion and my personal use case. Now, when it comes to that base plate, like I showed you at the start, this pretty much slides directly on there got that little safety plate. It's pretty much identical to all your Tilted Cage ones, but this honestly is pretty much my standard setup with the Red Komodo X. So anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be amazing. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, the link will be in the description below if you do want to check all these out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.